How is everybody doing on this Wednesday? Woo! Let's see if anyone is joining us today. I am up here working on some beach towels. So let me know if you can hear me. Um, let's see. Let me know if where everybody is coming in from. I'm just going to check real quick to see if I'm live. Anybody here? Hello? Okay, let me know if you can hear me. Let's see if I can see the chat. Um, let's see. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Hopefully, you can hear me. Um, I've been working up here. I've already done two. Hello, Sue. Thanks for joining me. Hopefully, you're working on some stuff today, too. So just put me on and we can chat. Um, so I just finished this one. I am working on some... Um, beach towels today. I have all different colors. Um, I've got a yellow one down here, and then I've got a few over here. So I'm just going to go ahead. These are from Walmart. Um, they, I'll show you the exact brand in a second. Oh, this one just finished. Look how good that looks. Beautiful. Um, this is Libby Jane Font from Alphalicious. Hello, everybody joining me. Okay. Hope you guys can hear me okay. Um, and then I did this one. Hello, Roseanne. Thanks for joining. Um, this is Market Font. It's one of my favorite fonts for boys. So I am just working on a few things. Of course, my machine told me to do some maintenance, so um, I'm letting it oil, and thankfully it reminds me to do maintenance because I don't remember the last time I put the oil up here in this top part, so I'm so thankful it pops up to remind me to do stuff, so that's why we're waiting on the Melco. I got like, oh, I think I can press the next button. Let's see. So let me know what you're working on in the comments. Oh, wow. Let's see. Upper. Let's see. What's everybody working on today? Okay, so this is the name of the towel. They're the Mainstays Beach Towel. And I think they were like $5.96. So I'm going to go ahead and get my other one on the brother while I do some maintenance. And you guys... Um, can let me know what you're working on. And so this was that one that I did. Hello, everyone. Um, and this is that. So again, these are from Walmart, uh, Mainstays Beach Towels. I think you can get a, like a four pack for like, you can get a discount if you order a few at a time. I just don't think you get to pick the colors. So um, I always use Tearaway Stabilizer with my beach towels. Um, I use the 8x13 Mighty Hoop um, with the Fast, or 8x13 Mighty Hoop with the Belco. And then I have Fast Frames for my brother machine. And I use, I feel like it's either 8x12, I'll show you in just a second, or an 8x14. So. And then I'm just going to take away, sorry, my lighting. It's a little cloudy here today. How is the weather where you are? We are hopefully going to go to the pool later because I think it's going to be in the 80s. So that's why I didn't even bother to do my hair because it's just going to get wet. And then I just use the balls on my finger or the pad of my finger and get these out. But it looks so good. This is what the back looks like. Um, so I use sticky on my fast frame and then I add a... Um, an extra layer of tear away with my fast frame because sometimes I feel like the sticky stabilizer isn't quite enough of a tear away. So I give it a little extra. What's everybody working on today? Have you guys um, already kind of moved on from Easter? Are you, since it's late this year, are you still working on Easter? Um, 
sometimes I sell Easter. Sometimes I don't. I de- it depends. And um, like Easter baskets and that sort of thing. And I'm kind of glad I didn't because my main person I get it from this year, their Easter baskets aren't coming in till like mid-April. And Easter is mid-April. So bless their hearts. I feel terrible for them. And they're shipping woes right now. Um, let me know if you're having some shipping woes, getting product in. Um, but yeah, so I just peel as much as I can of the sticky off. I haven't used sticky in so long. I've been using the Mighty Hoops, and I forgot how much of a pain it is on towel. So if you can, maybe don't use sticky, but I guess it's fine. There we go. So there's what it looks like. And I found Tearaway works well with towels. I mean, we went to the pool so many times last year and washed. I even did applique on our beach towels, and they they looked great. So definitely you can tear. Look how cute that is. Did a little purple and pink. I'm going to go ahead and get the other one on, and I'm going to look at what I have to do. I have to do a lint-free cloth and I'm not sure I have that for the Malco so we might be quick today and just do one while we're on okay so let me lean you down and see what I do so I like to go can you see that okay I like to go about five inches down from the seam just to kind of make it I'm doing a, um, groups of them so I like to make it a little uniform and then I go the middle of the stripe so typically on these towels, there's five stripes, so I go to the very middle one, and five inches up is my center, so my font is about right here, okay? And I am using, I forgot to list this, um, I've been loving these designs and machine embroidery Target stickers, they're my new best friend. Me and the purple marker, if you don't know, she used to be my best friend, but now we're we're not best friends anymore. These are my best friend now. So this is an erasable marker. Um, I just don't like having to erase it anymore. So I use these now. So um, let's see what else is going on. Let me check the chat and see what everyone's doing. Sorry, I'm on my phone, so I have to press the buttons. Um, I'm guessing y'all can hear me. No one's talking to me today. Live chat. Hello. Okay. Okay. So let me go ahead and get this one off. Um, this was the 8 by 13 Mighty Hoop. I do have a bigger one, but this one worked perfect for this. Valerie. Oh, this Target stickers. Yes, Valerie loves the Target stickers. They're new to me. And I have been just loving them, especially on clothes. Oh, man, I used to hate having to get, especially white shirts, having to get that dot off. But it helps me so much when I'm centering. Um, my bobbin ran out during this one, but we did good. So, again, okay, Lauren is stitching on tote bags today with names. I have yet to find a beach towel. So these are from Walmart, $5.96. Um, I feel like Jiffy shirts has some, and maybe Sanmar, but they're expensive. But they might be a lot better quality. But if you order on walmart.com, I'm just trimming the stitches. Um, you can get a four pack and I think a six pack. I think you don't get to pick the colors so though. It's the only bummer. But for significant, you you save like a dollar a towel. I feel like they had four for twenty or something, and they're usually five ninety six in store. So there. Oh, got this one here. Thank you everyone for joining me. Who else is working today? I had to get back in the groove of things. Okay, Lauren said the Mar ones were. Ex- expensive oh didn't even think to order them yes if you look online at walmart.com you will find them type in mainstays beach towels and they had some cute options they had a nautical one at the store the other day it was like an anchor and maybe a 
It's like a rope. Maybe not. It was nautical. It was almost July 4th. -y. I was like, ooh. Okay, Brianna or Brianna. I don't know how that's how you how you say your name, but she's working on Easter stuff. Hello to the crafty Puerto Rican. What's the weather like there today? We're getting some storms this week, so we are gonna take advantage of the warm today. I think it's gonna be in the 80s. We went to the pool yesterday, hence the little red on the forehead. Let me know what it's like where you are. I'm getting, uh, you know, and people say, oh, you don't need water soluble. I love the water chopper. I think it looks so good, especially on fluffy towels. These aren't the fluffiest, but they are enough. I'm just trimming some of my jump stitches. Beautiful. I love this font for boys or girls, but this is my favorite boy font. This is Market um, off of Etsy. And then this one was Livy Jane. I don't think I listed this one. Hello, Maria. Okay. So let's go ahead and get the other one on. And then if I can find a lint free cloth. I will get the Melco going. 50 degrees and cloudy in NC. Oh, I feel ya. We were there last year at this time. So we have Sherbin enjoying Florida. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead. I'll show you how I do this. I'm gonna lean you down. Sorry for the motions. Okay. Let's see. These last year had a um a towel hook. So I just did opposite the towel hook, but they do not have a towel hook. They had like a little, I don't know how to describe it. I didn't love it. So I'm kind of glad they got rid of that. Um, where do you get your towels from? Let me know. Um, I've seen them at Target. Um, but sorry, I'm looking for a better stripe, but that's what we're going to do. I, I look at both sides and make sure, and then I go, it's my personal preference, I go five inches up from the seam, and I use the arrow to point which way is up, and then I find roughly the center. I'm not too precise on these. Mm -hmm. Because the stripes aren't super precise. There we go. All right. And so I think I can reuse this one or I might patch it. So this is the sticky stabilizer in the fast frame. I'll patch it. I don't want to ruin the tail. Okay. So I'm just going to do some sulky. Hey. Thank you guys for joining me at lunchtime. Okay, you bought these same fat. Oh, I fabulous. I didn't see um, the whole name, but she bought these same beach towels. I have been embroidering these beach towels for years. They've been great. I love how they bring them back every season. Um, I wish they had more girl colors though. Last year, I feel like they might have had one more color. I wish we could get like a purple or. Um, what am I doing? All they have is a pink, and it's not really the greatest pink. It's not my favorite pink, but like a bubblegum pink would be gorgeous. Let me know where you get your towels from. If they're less, I'm looking for like less than six, seven dollars. Um, I know they have the super plush ones at Target, like the luxe ones, those are like 10 to 15. Um, this is sulky, sticky. Oh, I don't think my patch was big enough. Let's see what everybody's saying. Sorry, my neighbor in their house pressure wash. Let's see. Snowing in Minnesota. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Sorry, I'm on my phone today. 
the Crafty Puerto Rican is done with Easter, uploading new items to Etsy, getting ready to do upload a YouTube video. What's your video about today? Let's see. Um, Central Florida here, 77, 48 in Maryland. Hey, Shayna, so good to see you. Happy belated birthday. Um, okay. Amazon for about $10 is where they get their towels. Um, okay. I didn't think about Amazon. I need to look there. Oh, let's see. So I just patched my hole. Again, this is, I think this might be the 8 by 14, but it only goes, my machine only goes to 8 by um, 12, I believe. So I'm going to show you how I do this real quick. Hey, Barb. Okay, so with this, um, I find this little notch here, and I just line up my stripe and try to make it as center as possible. And so you see this arrow is facing up, and I'm going to rotate it when I embroider it. Um, because I don't want all of this bunched up behind the machine. So this is gonna go on the machine. I'm just gonna rotate it, okay? So let me take you over here. Oh, let me get it loaded on the machine. Let me close my blinds so you don't see my neighbors real quick while you're over here. I've been loving having the windows open. I have a feeling I need to use my porch out here because um, the mosquitoes are gonna come out and I'm not gonna be able to use them. Okay, sorry for the clouds. Okay. I know I was saying I was embroidering on the Melco and it told me to do some maintenance, which I appreciate that it reminds me because Lord knows when the last time I oiled this part was. So <laughs> I appreciate that it tells me to do it. Okay, so I'm just loading. Onto my thing. I always lose my pen. If anyone else have this machine, it's like the scissors. Oh, here it is on the ground. I love this thing, the little thing. Hi, Lori. How are you doing? Thank you for joining us today. I'm sure you've got some good videos coming out soon. Okay, let's see. Hopefully, this is going to fit on. All right, 10 inches. Woo, it's going to be big gonna be big okay this is lemonade I believe applique corner possibly um so I think I'm gonna do lime green on this I think it'll be really cute sorry my lighting terrible let's see if I can get some lighting going on Woo! let there be light okay so Man, I haven't used glass frames in a while, but they are my first love, and then I love the Mighty Hoops. Um, okay, I don't know why I'm doing that. So I just take these clips. I've got these. I feel like I got these at Hobby Lobby. They're like sewing clips. I have a whole bucket, and I use these for my fast frames. Oh, my stripe looks a little wonky. It's okay. Let me know what you're working on. Okay, and then I make sure it's nice and secure. Okay, then I take my pins um, and I'm gonna pin this after I put it on. Okay, so that's the way it needs to go. I already rotated it. Oh my goodness, y'all are talking about five inches of snow. Trying to straighten up her clutter. Okay. Then I kind of pull my edges back. Um, okay. And then I pull this up. I've already oiled my machine earlier. I did a towel earlier. Okay. 
So now what I'm gonna do is set, at it end. I'm going to, oh, my dot is way down there. So I just use my laser and find the center of that sticker, that crosshair, I guess it would be called. Mm, looks about right. And then I'm going to trace. Always want to trace when you're using um, something that's not like a hoop that your machine recognizes. You will hit the edge, um, and that will be a good idea. So you want to make sure it fits in that embroidery field. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna take that sticker off. I will say sticker, <laughs> the towel this year. It, it shed a little, it's fine. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my jumbo roll of water soluble topper um, and I'm gonna pin it on. Hello everybody, thanks for joining me today. And um, I just used my clips. I like to do this because when I don't, it just all gets jumbled and it eats it and then it just makes the stitches look wonky. So I will pin like one or two spots that I know won't be embroidered. And then go from there. Okay. And then I am going to pick, I'm gonna do lime green. I think lime green is gonna look, this is like a, um, I would call it like a Carib Caribbean, Car Caribbean blue. Okay, so we're gonna go to number one, white. I just changed my needles. They were in desperate need. Okay, so y'all, I talk to this when I'm not even on a live. I talk to myself when I'm embroidering. Let me know if you talk to yourself. Cause I have to do a checklist. So for needle number one, oh, you know what I forgot? See, this is why I do my checklist. We have lots of fun up here talking to myself. Um, I stick some tearaway underneath um, because I just wanted a little extra, not that the sulky isn't good, but I need a little tearaway, like a good tearaway under here. I feel like these are one of ones from Amazon or All Stitch, but either one, I use both. Okay, so I got my tear away, nothing's underneath, and we're ready. Okay, so let's see what everybody is doing. <laughs> now, remind Sky Unique Printwear, remind me of your name. Okay, I'm glad to see someone else talk to themselves because you would think that I'm going live all the time up here, but no. I'm just talking to myself. Oh. Let's see. Barb is hemming 95% nylon, 5% spandex for a client. Oh my goodness, all that stretch. You can go, Barb. Barb, we need to see what you do. You see your workroom. She's hemming a bunch of jeans for a client and then patches on a parka. That is awesome. Stacy. Okay, Stacy, Stacy, Stacy. Stacy. Okay. Um but Stacy and I both talked to ourselves. Shana's been busy. Now, okay, so do you guys that sell, do you sell on Etsy or do you have a standalone? Site as well. I'm looking at like, do I get Shopify or I'm looking at the different types. My husband um, bought Wix, the Wix, yeah, for our um, our Christian clothing business. I don't really like Wix, so but he handles all that. So I think I am I'm leaning towards Shopify. But let me know your if you have a like a site besides Etsy. Barb, do you have a YouTube channel? Am I subscribed? Okay. I think, let me I have to look after this. You need to do some videos because you do some amazing things. 
Okay. So, oh, that looks beautiful. Let's see if I can get you a little closer. Look how, like, plush that is. This one is, oh, uh oh, my mighty hoop just got stuck to my thing. This one is lemonade from Applique Corner. I'm not sure. I think so. Or um, just type lemonade and it'll come out. Okay. I might. Let's see. My Melko decided it wanted to maintenance itself. So. That might require my focus so I don't mess it up. Um, yeah. So here's this one I did. Again, I use tearaway stabilizer, a water topper, or water soluble stabilizer on top. I use the 8x13 Mighty Hoop and the 8x12 fish or 14. That might be the 8x14, but my thing can only go to frame oh they're talking sewing y'all I can sew just enough just enough to get myself in trouble I made a few things for my daughter like the cute boutique dresses and shorts um I try to make myself something and I'm just the surgery and me don't get along <laughs> Let's see, what else can I, um, oh, let me show you while we're here, um, hold on one second, let me show you, someone had asked in one of my last videos, um, how the sublimation held up, um, and so this was, the cricket shirt, I think, that I did sublimation on. Of course, I got a coffee stain, but this has been washed. I didn't bleach it, I don't think. Wonderful. Um, my daughter stained hers, but this is the cricket brand as well. It washed great. Her, um, did I show that? Oh, that'll be in the video on Friday. I did a sublimation um, on. You might have seen it on my Instagram. I use a blank boutique, 100% cotton shirt, um, glitter HTV, and sublimation. And I made, um, <laughs> what's everybody oopsing about? Let's see. Um, I lost the train up. Oh, I sublimated onto dark with the glitter. HTV and it was beautiful and it washed I've washed it twice and it looks great so I love that technique so you'll see that on Friday on that video um and then here's the Hobby Lobby shirt um this is Hobby Lobby sublimation shirt that washed great and this is my one that I have to peroxide still that I scorched I haven't washed that one yet but everything washed great um and this thing was wonderful. So you'll be seeing, I made a ton of shirts. Um, and I filmed in that video. Um, right now it's an hour and 30 minutes. So I am working on cutting it down even longer because I filmed all day while I made the shirt. Um, sorry, I'm sitting right next to the embroidery machine. So that'll be Friday. And I, I did vinyl and sublimation. Um, but the pictures, we bought the memory maker, where they like take your pictures. Is it called a memory maker? Yeah. You find the little photographer at Disney and they take your pictures and you get to um, have like professional pictures. It was beautiful. So I'll put some in the thumbnail and just show us wearing the shirt. Well, um, let's check the chat. Sorry, I don't have the milk going. I got to get find me a lint free cloth. And I feel like Melco Bravo um, had a March Madness deal. So if you're looking, they were offering like an Epson sublimation printer. So if you're interested, talk to Todd. 
text him, say you want, I think, is it the one Angel was at? Angel just got it, um, a sublimation. I feel like it might be the Epson. Let's see. Okay, so, Barb's been, uh, oh, Marissa's been busy, busy, busy. And embroidered print now is Liliana. Thank you for telling me your name. I'm going to try to remember that. Um, but yeah, well, thank you for joining me. I'm sorry it was short today, but I'm going to go do some maintenance on the Melco and get it running again. Um, I'm not good at multitasking, so I need to go find a lint free cloth and do that. And then I'm just going to let this run. So again, um, the beach balls, so cute. They're my favorite thing um, to give. I love doing them for, um, like, for the teachers. At the end of the year, I always do, like, a beach bag. Um, probably do, like, some kind of, like, cup with their monogram or their name and um, a towel and maybe a hat. I like, like to make, like, a pool beach ready so they can enjoy their summer. So that's probably what I'll be doing as well. And, um, yeah. I hope you guys have a good afternoon for all those in the snow. I hope you stay warm and Friday, um, you can expect that work with me with all the Disney shirts. So thank you so much for joining me today. I'll put, um, on Instagram, I'll post how they, these all turned out. Bye everybody. Thanks for the end. Bye everybody.